In the previous video, we created a perspective projection. And in this video, we are going to take a look on the orthographic or also called the orthogonal projection. So to better see what the perspective projection do, does, is I'm going to upload to the model location directly the translation, translation, and I'm going to just comment out these lines. And so now, we have just a static cube without any rotation and I'm also going to change the translation so on the X I'm going to move it uh, one unit to the right. So as you can see what the perspective projection does is the front side of this cube appears to be bigger than the back side so as it uh, gets farther from the view it gets smaller. And now let's go to the browser and I have this uh, Wikipedia page open. I'm also going to add this page to the video description. So orthographic projection, sometimes referred to as orthogonal projection, is a means of representing three-dimensional objects in two dimensions. Uh, it is a form of parallel projection in which the projection lines are orthogonal to the project projection plane. Okay, just uh, read through this because it is interesting. And I'm also going to here to the learnopengl.com and coordinate systems. And I'm also going to add this link to the video description. And here it is, orthographic projection. An orthographic projection matrix defines a cube-like frosted box that defines a clipping space where each vertex outside the box is clipped, and so on and so forth. So before that, in the perspective projection, we had this, I don't know, pyramid-like uh, frosted So with a field of view and a near clipping plane and a far clipping plane. So this is the viewing uh, um, volume. And in a orthographic projection, we have this box, so not a pyramid. And we also need to define a near uh, clipping plane and a far clipping plane. And everything outside of this view, viewing box gets discarded, so it won't be visible. And using uh, C++ and the GLM library, you set it like this. So GLM colon colon ortho, and this is a left side of the viewing box, this is the width of the viewing box, this is the bottom of the viewing box, and this is the height of the viewing box, and this is the near clipping plane and the far clipping plane. So let's create this uh, same matrix, orthogonal or orthographic uh, projection matrix, using Python and the peer model. So here I'm just going to comment this line out, which creates the perspective projection, and I'm going to create a new projection, so projection, and this will be equal to peer uh, that matrix 44 and uh, create orthogonal projection matrix, so create underscore orthogonal projection matrix. And as I said, it needs uh, one, two, three, four, six values. So the first value is the left side of the view box, the second value is the right side, which is the width of the window, so 1280, then the bottom, which is 0, and the height of the window, which is 720, and the near clipping plane, which will be set to... Uh, I'm not going to set it to 0 0.1, I'm going to set it to actually to, to be a bigger, so from negative 1000 to positive 1000. Okay, and now... So let me see what we have now. Our cube just disappeared, and this is because now we have a view box which has, uh, which is the same as a window, so 1280 by, seven, by 720, and this cube actually is only one pixel in width and one pixel in height. So if you go to the vertex buffer, as you can see, it goes from negative on let's say on the x, it goes from negative 5 to positive 5, so which means it is only one pixel, and is the same for the y-axis, it goes from negative 0.5 to 0.5, and the same for the x. So this cube has only one pixel in this window. So to, so to actually see this, you can do two things. One thing is just change the vertex buffer to actually have much bigger sizes, so let's say from a cube can be from x0 uh, to x100 or something like this so somehow scale up these values 
but the easier solution is just to apply a scaling matrix, what I'm going to do. So I'm going to here create a new matrix called scale using the peer, of course, that uh, matrix 44 with a lowercase m and uh, create from scale. Create, uh, create from scale. And this takes uh, vector free, so vector, um, or I mean peer dot vector, peer dot vector free, and as a list, uh, give it just as, um, a new scale. So let's scale this cube uh, on each axis, so x, y, z axis by let's say 200. So x 200, y 200, and uh, and z 200. And now we actually need to multiply the scale matrix by the translation matrix. So here I'm going to com uncomment this one and instead of the rotation I'm going to apply the scale. So scale times the translation. And now let's also move the model here into the GL uniform matrix 4FV. Let me see it. And now our cube is visible. Of course our cube uh, center point is um, here so it scales negative 200 to the left, which is not visible, and also negative 200 to, to the bottom, which is, so that's why it, it is not visible. We are seeing only the right side, uh, this side of the cube. To actually make it visible, I'm going to also translate it, let's say, 400 unit on the X and, I don't know, 200 unit on the Y axis. Okay, so this is how an orthographic projection looks like. No matter how, where I put this cube, it, it we always seeing only one side. So by the perspective projection, if I go back to the perspective projection, uh, when I moved the, when I run this, I mean, I don't want to rotate it. Uh, let me see. I'm just going to apply the translation matrix here, translation, and move it one unit to the right. And as you can see, when it when it gets translated one unit, we see the the not the left side of the cube. But in the in the orthographic projection, we don't see it. We see it uh, only from the front. And one more thing to actually, if you want to apply also the rotation, I'm going to just comment out this one or un uncomment this one and also this one so now we have rotation and i'm also going to create a, here a model and copy this one and here and now uh, it should be the scale times the rotation and in the next model it should be the previous model with the translation yes Okay, now we are seeing uh, it rotating in rotating in orthographic uh, view or orthographic projection. And let me show you if I don't give enough um, space in the near and the far clipping planes, I'm going to set it to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and let's say 100, 100. As you can see, there is not enough viewing volume to actually properly represent this uh, cube and it's it gets discarded the front size and also in the back so that's why we need to give it a, a little bit much bigger space so to see the whole cube so that's why i'm giving it negative uh, for the far uh, i mean the near clipping pane negative 1000 and for the far 1000 So by using an orthogonal or also called orthographic projection matrix, you can create all sorts of 2D renderings. And it, it is especially useful when you are creating 2D games uh, in uh, OpenGL. Mm, but don't forget, if you have a vertex buffer with these small values to actually, which ranges from, uh, uh, from uh, negative 0.5 to positive 0.5 or something like this, that you also need to scale up your vertices using a scale matrix. And uh, as a reference, I'm also going to leave this projection with the, uh, I mean the perspective projection here, but uncom uncommented or no, commented out. <laughs>